guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. week's yin reading for April the 28th until May the 5th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to be doing um, a Celtic wing reading. So let me pull the cards first. Let me just give this a good shuffle first. Whoa. These ones are actually really hard to shuffle with. This is my deck. All right, so let's pull the cards first, and I'll go through the positions. All right, so let's begin. So starting with the present position, Eight of Wands. So the feminine was bringing this card into the union, for the Twin Flame reading. So um, this could be communication, Cupid's arrows, um, accelerated energy, excitement, really vibrant um, return of karmic energy. So it's seeing the finish line. It's stepping on the gas. Okay, so at the foundation we have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, independent, self-love, feeling um, like you've arrived in the 3D, feeling accomplished. So this is a very positive, grounded energy to be standing on as a foundation. Um, you know, it's looking after yourself, doing things that make you happy, going on a vacation, um, treating yourself to a dinner or to a new outfit, getting out into the, um, you know, into nature. Okay, so what's in the external environment? The crown chakra. Or, sorry, this is the, um, the past position. So the crown chakra is... Um, a direct connection to source, to your higher self. So the feminine has been in an illuminated state and that's where that groundedness and positive energy is flowing from. So that's good. What does she want and likely to get? Throat chakra communication. So again, communication is important. Um, we saw that also in the Twin Flame reading, the sense of her opening up, expressing herself. There's something um, that needs to be said. Right? She wants a positive return, communication to come towards her. So at the crossroads, we have the two wands, door opening. Now that idea of a door opening was a major theme for the masculine reading there is an opportunity there. So this card in the near future is expansion, seeing all the possibilities, um, growing an idea, making a decision to pursue your higher calling. So what are you resisting? The universe card. So you are resisting putting the final piece of the puzzle in place. You're resisting um, completing the fool's journey, you, that possibility is there, but you're not seeing something, um, 
you've got ma major awareness here with the crown chakra and the past and, and the connection with the universe in the near future, but in the present moment, you're resisting connecting with the universe. Um, you're resisting seeing something. So the internal environment, wow, synchronicity, this showed up in the present position in the Twin Flame reading, Six of Cups. Internal environment, you want to reconnect, you want, um, you know, you, you're thinking about somebody from the past, you want to reunite, you're very pure, innocent, warm, loving energy, strong desire for the feminine to want to connect with the masculine. Your external environment is the hermit, so somebody has detached, um, this could be the feminine detaching from the masculine, but we saw that energy in the twin flame reading as well. So, you know, this is somebody who's very wise, who is unchained, who um, pursues ph philosophical questions. You know, so they're looking for their internal light. So it's coming in the external. You're resisting the universe. The external is the hermit or the philosopher. Um, either way, there's an opening in the near future. So let's continue on. Okay, what will be judgment card? So this is looking for an answer, reviewing your life, and having that illumination. It's the calling, the awakening. So even though you're resisting it, there is that illumination. So, you know, you, your mind opens. You see how you may have been held back by something. Um, so you can create your own reality, right? So we see this expansion happening again in the near future. And, you know, this is the main... Um, a main result of, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to continue on. I drew a blank there for a second. Okay, so what's the summary outcome? Justice. This was the overall energy card for the masculine reading. So the karmic justice, justice is energy returning to you what you put out to the universe you get back so we got the feminine sending out this vibration this positive vibration um, into the universe the door is opening and the universe is responding as a summary there is a karmic return happening um, you will see you will hear that awakening. What you want is communication, the throat chakra. What you will get is what you need. Not necessarily what you want, um, but what I see is it turning out you know, in a great way. So here we have major completion, feeling like you've arrived at this stable place in your life. And so you're also sending out that, you know, Cupid's arrows and and whatnot, and that re that is returning to you. But there's something you need to see. So this will all be clarified in the extended reading. Okay, so the final outcome, wow. The Four of Wands, spiritual um, union in the 3D reality. Incredible. That's that karmic return, that vibration return to you as a the 1111 card. I use this as confirmation for Twin Flame Connection. Wow. What you want is union or reunion. What you will get is reunion. Oh, my little owl fell down. Okay. So the overall energy is, wow, the lover's card. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. So this is um, recognizing your twin flame um, on a soul level and feeling this passion ignited within you. A very beautiful union energy here that is coming to you. So the lover's card could also 
um, point to having to make a decision about a love relationship. And you can see that relation that um, relationship here and a decision reviewing your life, um, wanting that final piece of puzzle to be placed, but there's resistance there. So I see that door opening and that flow returning to the feminine. Beautiful. Okay, so I am going to pull. Um, what did I use for the masculine? I think I used Call It Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. So this will be a final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the feminine? Stop. Peace. Peace will be yours. And peace is yours. You see that peace coming in from the past and you embracing it. Okay. So peace, freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. So the relationship message, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and is to be savored. Oh, God. And remember the Nine of Cups showed up as a final outcome. You know, your dreams fulfilled. But I see this beautiful, peaceful, um, harmonious union. Um, wow. It's a repeated theme in all of the readings that I've done. Um, the, the Yang reading, the Twin Flame reading. Prepare for union. Boom. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video there and I'm going to do the extended reading. So if you'd like to purchase that, you can click on the link below and it will take you to my website. Um, or you can also um, get all of the extended readings and early bird offers through uh, Patreon. So the link for that is also below. All right. Cheers. See you next week.